היום האמנים הישראלים הם כבר ידועים בעולם כולו. ישנם רבים ש, שמוצגים היום, ב, או נרכשו על ידי מוזיאונים גדולים ומובילים בעולם. אין היום את האי חשיפה שהייתה פעם. היום הם חשופים, הם גלויים, ואני חושבת שיש להם כבר שם בעולם. אז האמנות הישראלית צריכה להיות מיוצגת גם פה כמו שצריך. It basically is a building of two types of space. One type is a flexible rectangular galleries that are able to be curated in any, any number of ways, very, very liberally, very freely. And on the other hand, spaces that are very specific, architectural, very exciting. Uh, these are the spaces for the public, for events. These are the spaces that attract people to architecture itself. The mingling of architecture with the spaces of curatorial freedom, in a way, is what the building is all about, the duality of this kind of condition. Well, I think what you see here is something interesting. It reminds you in many ways of the Bauhaus years at Tel Aviv. If you look at the light fall, this twisting space, which is filled with light on white surfaces, they, they do recollect that, but in a form that's so peculiar, so new, so unlike the original, even if it recollects it, that it transforms that memory into something forward-looking, even further forward. The same with the mid-century period of Tel Aviv architecture. The exterior of this building is concrete. It connects to that period, but again, transforms into something else. I, I think to try to extend the legacy of the progressive architecture of the city is what this building does. This is the Museum for Israeli Art for, uh, for its uh, 100 years of development and we have an excellent exhibition here and we, unfortunately we had all of these pieces in the basement and we had to take it out and to expose it to the public here in the, in, in the city and uh, if you go around you'll see it uh, like in this by the way gallery uh, how much we have to expose. So we are lucky to have it. 